action night here in this playoff series. Lot of bounce on both blue lines here, and we are about set to drop the puck here at center. This is what you play for. Moments like this, you can feel the energy in this building, and we are underway. And he's ridden off the puck. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Takes a shot. Gets in front of it for the block. Quick pass to Yakovlev. Gains the zone on the left wing. At center ice now. He grabs the puck. Scores! And that's his first career playoff goal, and he'll take it. Uh, he will, James, because the playoffs is just a different beast. It's not regular season anymore. You want to be an impact and he does tonight. I'd like to call this a quiet shot, James. What that means is the goaltender can't see it. So he's listening for it, and it buzzes right by him because he cannot catch up to it, can't find it with his eyes, and can't find it with his body. Nissen Kemp's early lead in this one, a direct result, Cheryl, of moving their feet. They're moving their feet, and they're moving the puck, and this gives them a little bit of a cushion to play free, and you get your entire bench into the game early. You show good habits, and you get rewarded for it. Delayed penalty coming up here. Quick whistle stops the play. You're trailing by one and you take the penalty. Not the way to get back in the game. Our first opportunity to look at the power play unit set to go to work. First power play opportunity for this team. It's going to start in the face-off circle, getting possession with the win, and then looking to set up. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. It's a real skill to be accurate and have a heavy shot, and right now it's just a heavy one that whistles wide. Jocelyn for the puck, and he loses control. Big time shot block there. Cuts into the paint. Gets a glove on it to make the stop. Puck is frozen, and we'll get a face-off. Yakupov's body language says it all. He is frustrated. And anytime you're on a team, you want to contribute, especially when you know what you can do. You're a confident player, but all of a sudden, the stick gets a little bit tighter. Habits are a great thing. Numbers are another. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. Across the point. Denies him. He got all of it. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Quick pass to Keshnikov. Well, he makes an incredible save on a point-blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive, he's competitive, and he wins the battle. The Nationals will start off on the attack after winning the draw. Oh, I thought he had the corner and just missed. Well, it looked like he did. You can just see that in the Frustrating for the goaltender who gets beat down low, and it's all because of a defensive zone turnover. He can't get set to position, and he opens up the bottom half of the net. The Nationals have to be feeling good about their game after what we've seen for the better part of this opening frame here, Cheryl. Yeah, they doubled down and, and got their second goal here, James. They've really pressed and loved their tempo. And when I was an athlete, I didn't like the intermission at this time. You're on all cylinders. You're, everyone's firing, and now you got to go sit. It's coach's job, leadership in the room to keep them fired up for the second. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. There's the buzzer, 20 minutes in the books, second period just around the corner. And the opening face-off here in period number two is about set. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? These Nick Hams have been so dialed in to start this game, James. They've got a healthy two-goal lead, and the reason why, they've been aggressive on the puck. And when they have the opportunity to drive the net and get the shot off, they are. Oh, what a 
play and they're on the attack. Uh, able to... Oh, a spectacular save right there. Wow. Unbelievable. I mean, it was all but in, and he steals it because of that last-ditch attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. When your opponent doesn't have the puck, you can't interfere with their forward progress too much. You can cheat a little bit, James, but that's over the top. The Nationals send their men advantage unit out once more. Well, they haven't scored on the power play yet, man. It is a tough thing to do, and this is an earned opportunity. They practice, they know what they're doing. It'll come. That's off a stick. Gloves save all quick reflexes on the play. They're like a swarm of bees out here with this pressure. Big time collision there. Oh, great save right there. And the D come up with it in their own end. With possession along the wall. Here's a chance. Oh, what a stop on the play. Gets all of it with the paddle. Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time, you want to take space. Goaltender does it, makes the save. Fantastic save! Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end. Oh, what a stop! Misses! Brady perfectly and picks it off. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. Here's the chance to set up now. The Mallards take over on possession. Here's a chance to front. He scores! What an opportunity and delivers! Well, he does a great job of maneuvering his body to get available in tight to the goaltender. Anytime you're net front, you want to find a way to get your stick on a puck. This one-timer that he's able to get off beats the goaltender clean. The Mallards finally have something to build on here in period number two. That's one of the only shifts this period where they drove the net and they've attacked James. They've got to find a way to possess the puck and get more shots at net. They've been outshot this period. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Nissenkamp's got it along the wall. Centering B, and that's off target. Scores! It's in the back of the net! a fantastic shot. I mean, the goaltender is saying, hey, try and beat me glove hand. Well, guess what? He does. Nissen Kent's now got up by two in the back half of the second, and this is a nice place to be right now if you're in front. Exactly where they want to be. It's exactly how they would have written it up, but they've been dominating possession, and when you have the puck, the other team doesn't, and they've been rewarded with a couple of goals. A delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. And the officials will pass the sentence here. The Mallards are going to be short-handed as they are called for tripping. Missing Kent's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Power plays, more time on the ice, the ability to get that puck moving. These players know exactly what they're doing. They work on it in practice. Spoke to some of them earlier today at the pregame, and they talked about the execution and the precision in particular with their puck movement. The Nationals pick up steam and are on the attack. And he takes the dish. of this power play. It's all about puck movement, and when you're going to let a shot go, you want to make sure that there's traffic net front, and that's exactly what happens. The goaltender screen, and they find the back of the net. Nissen Kemp's got to be thinking they don't want this night to end. Like, here we are in the second period, and they just continue to find the offense goal after goal here, Cheryl. Yeah, and the point production is spread throughout the entire lineup. So what that means is everyone's gaining confidence as this game continues. So i got to feel sorry for their opponent right now. They look deflated. They look frustrated, as they should be. Skates in behind the cage. Handles the pass. And he's not 
knocked off the puck there. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. clinic and body position how to roll off your coverage and it's perfectly executed as he doesn't have much time to get the one timer off but he gets his stick available and he executes the nationals continue to hammer the accelerator here in the late stages of period number two it's been attack 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 all night long yeah they had the puck on their stick they've driven the net when they've had the opportunity and i mean they just played well they've been dominant tonight james Two periods down, one more to go, at least for now, right? Third period, just around the corner. They weren't where they needed to be, and it's looked like that all game long. They need to change it now if they want to get back in this one. Here's a chance, and that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Magneta Gorse got the puck along the wall. Rocked him in the open ice. Smart defensive play there. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Ref's arms in the air. We got a penalty coming up. Whistle blows, stopping the play. D's going off for interference. Magneta Gorse set in their power play unit out for the first time tonight. Well, first power play of the game, James. You want to start with possession and look to get shots to the net. It is the tone setter. Puck clear from the defensive end. Beautiful feed up ahead from the right wing side. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. Natural tendency for players is to reach when they've lost position on their opponent. When you reach, often you take out the feet of your opponent. This is an easy tripping call. What an opportunity for the power play here. They've got lots of time to work this five on three. With all this time on the five on three, yes, you can be more patient, but you don't want to get low to sleep on the outside. You have to move the coverage a little bit outside of the middle of the ice to be able to open up those lanes and execute. Magnet, of course, won it. Now they'll go on the attack. And it gets all of that one as it was scored. To the playoffs, and the rookie gets it done. Well, every athlete wants to establish themselves as a playoff performer. Well, the rookie, an impressive start to leaving a lasting impression. Well, the goaltender heard the ping and was hoping that that puck redirected out of the net. Unfortunately, this time it goes in. Make need, of course, recognize that they're not going to play run time here, so at least try to make it respectable. Respectable, and they can finish with physicality, and that's something that the staff will be telling them. Also look for everyone to be jumping into the attack, trying to get some pressure on their opponent and get some much-needed goals. Receives the pass. Make need, of course, got the puck against the half wall. Fires it. Oh, that had some heat on it. He makes the save. Great vision to see that stretch pass. And a good save on the play as action continues. My goodness, he kept going out too! 
Well, he does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner slot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes the save. The game is getting out of hand. You're down by a bunch. You take another penalty. You gotta find a way to just reset your composure. them working off the 1-3-1 sequence that they were successful on earlier, James. It really opens up the ice. So you're using and stretching the entire zone. And listen, there's a lot of ice for the defense to cover. So you can look to the flank, you can look to the bumper, but a lot of options off of it. Now a quick pass to Yakupov. Sends the pass over. Oh, and he comes up with a big stop there. Takes the shot. Oh, you'll win respect for your teammates doing that. What a block. Oh, look at this. They are really starting to apply the pressure now. And finally, they get it out of their own end. And here they go in transition. We got a penalty coming up here from the neutral zone now. And they get the extra attacker out as the goaltender gets to the bench. Takes a shot. Oh, how do you miss that? I mean, it's all part of the game, but Cheryl, you've got to connect on that one. Well, you do, especially when you get those grade-A scoring chances you have to find a way to at minimum get it to the net but man I think he had a little more time on his side and it just ricochets off his toe a little four on four coming up here a few ways to play a four on four you can sit back or you can be very aggressive on the puck but you have to make sure that you're aware as well there's more ice out there for your opponent too Takes possession. Stops him cold. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Magneta Gorse got it, and they're on the attack. Oh, blocker save. Looking textbook there. Let's it go. Just slide. It's an opportunity for the power play unit to go to work now as the penalty expires. Under siege, and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Steal in his own end. Man advantages up, both teams back to even strength. Oh, the on the play! Wow! That's a true competitor save. Just when you think that he's completely out of it, James, he comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive. Can't get past the defender. Wow, this is a great play, but oh, well, that's going to be a call, James. That's definitely a penalty. Let's see what the officials are calling. And yet another penalty is called, so out comes the PK unit, and you know what? They are taxed, they are worn down. If this continues, it's all gonna backfire. The Nationals once again send out their power play unit. They've already scored on the power play tonight, James, and if it ain't broke, you don't fix it. The coach has got them all ready to go, fired up. They've worked endlessly on this setup, and man, is it working tonight. Good heads-up defensive play as he extends the stick. And as the final seconds tick off the clock, the home fans acknowledging what they just saw tonight. Here's a chance, and he hangs on just as time runs out. And there's the final horn, putting a bow on this one here this evening. Best two words in sports up next, Cheryl. Game seven. So entertaining from all angles, right? Your fans, us, the booth, and how many players are on the ice? I mean, for this game seven. You know, it's going to be intense. It's going to be something small that makes the difference. But both teams are going to leave it all on the ice to be victorious in the series. This has really become one of the real premier party destinations in the hockey landscape. And here's a reason why. Look at this celebration here, Cheryl. And you got to love this. I mean, the fans are there for you while you're playing the game and you come back out to say thank you to them. Thanks so much for joining us here. It was a fun one to call, and we will see you soon. For all of us here at EA Sports, stay safe.